Hello everyone, so we are going to move into a new chapter. In this chapter, we are going to learn about system of differential equations. So what are system of differential equations? Well, to answer that question, let's go back to our very first lecture of this course. In that lecture, we discussed the difference between an ODE and a PDE. Can you remember what is the difference? Well, one difference is ha has to do with the number of independent variables. How many independent variables maximum can an OD have? Well, one, right? Maximum one independent variable, i dot v. How about PD? Well, it can have more than one definitely. All right. Now, how about dependent variables? How many dependent variables can an OD have? Well, for a PDE, definitely you can have more than one. So that's not a problem. But for an OD, do we only need to have a one dependent variable? Well, so far in this course, all the differential equations that we saw had only one dependent variable, of course, and a one independent variable. Think about this. Remember, always the combination was like y and x. y was the dependent variable, x was the independent variable, right? Well, there was an exception when we did a mechanical vibration lesson where we had, I think, uh, our dependent variable was x and the independent variable was t. Okay, but again, there, there was only one dependent variable and one independent variable. But actually, it turns out that an OD can have more than one dependent variable, but strictly one independent variable. That's, that's, that's fixed, okay? You can have only one independent variable, but you can have more than one dependent variable. So where? in system of differential equations. When you have a system of differential equation, you have um, more than one dependent variable. So let's learn it from an example. Let's go to our good old application where we discuss about tank. Uh, what did we call those problems? Mixing problems, yes. So let's say you have a tank and you pump water into the tank and you take water out of the tank and you are interested in let's say um, salt concentration okay all right let's say the amount of salt at time t is a so we are interested in rate of change of amount of salt right what was the equation how do you model that well the concentration times rate comes in minus the concentration times rate ca rate goes out right okay so that was the differential equation now here this is just a single differential equation where a is the dependent variable t is the time uh, okay so still one dependent variable now look at this interesting example okay now here we have two tanks in previous case we had only one tank how about here now let's try to build a differential equation for this scenario. Okay, pay close attention. Okay, all right. So since we have two tanks, let's say we have x uh, concentration in tank A to be x1, concentration of salt in tank B to be x2. Like a in the previous uh, example, I use a as the a as the concentration, but here let me use x1 and x2. Okay, all right. Now let's talk about tank A. Okay, we can't talk about both tanks at one time. Let's tackle tank A first. Rate of change of amount of salt in tank A is equal to... Okay, so I want you to tell uh, another fact where there are 50 gallons of water in each tank. Okay, just remember that because we need that to find the concentration. So we have 50 gal in each tank. Okay, so... Now let's find the rate, let's find what's come coming into tank A. If you look at tank A, there's pure water coming in from here. So pure water means no salt, right? Zero concentration and the rate that comes in is three. Okay, but not only that, from here also you have water coming into the tank, but not water, it's just, it's a mixture, not pure water. It's water, of course, but it's not pure water. So it's mixture. So mixture is coming from where? It's coming from tank too. Notice that. Okay. So 
actually you have two inputs so let's have a bracket to uh, represent the both inputs so you have x2 coming that's from tank 2 okay tank b and to make it concentration we divide by 50 okay oh by the way i think i said it wrong x1 and x2 not the concentration the amount of salt okay oh i messed up the word so x1 and x2 are the amount x2 divide by 50 now it becomes concentration okay sorry about that so you have uh well let's back it up okay so the it's the same thing it's just i am repeating it again so there's something coming from this tank and it's x2 the mixture x2 comes into tank a so x2 over 50 is the concentration and it's coming with the rate of one so rate of one okay so this is input minus the output is let's see the output of tank a so there's only one output you can see okay and the mixture x1 goes out at a rate of four so x1 divide by 50 to make it con concentration goes out of at a rate 4. So this is the differential equation regarding tank A, cons concerning tank A. Now let's talk about tank B. All right, dx2 over dt, rate of change of amount of salt in tank B is equal to rate comes in. So uh, let's see what comes in in this tank. So if you follow the arrows, um, here this is what comes into the tank B so mixture from tank A comes to tank B right so um, x1 that is that is because mixture in tank A which is x1 coming into tank B over 50 to make it concentration times the rate is 4 okay so that's the only input just following the arrows okay minus the output is so here you have an output x2 goes out divide by 50 to make it concentration at a rate of 3 plus if you look at here here also another output right it goes out to the tank a okay but still it goes out from tank b right so x2 over 50 concentration go out at a rate of what um rate of 1 right okay all right so it's a little bit complicated so let's rewrite these two differential equations so dx1 over dt is equal to here okay 0 times 3 is 0 so this is x2 over 50 minus 4x1 over 50 so that's the first differential equation the second differential equation is let's see 4x1 over 50 minus here 3x2 1x2 so here we can combine them and we can write 4x2 over 50 all right so these are two differential equations but the problem is they are connected right one depends on other tank a depends on tank b they are connected it's a system okay so it's like a system of machines now this is where system of differential equations come from this is a system of differential equations because they are connected to each other okay they work as a pair in this case okay this is a system of differential equation with two differential equations you cannot consider this each differential equation individually they are connected so this is a system of differential equation and what are the independent variables x1 and x2 remember because you have two tanks two d uh, not the independent variables again i'm sorry dependent variable so here the two dependent variables are x1 and x2 okay and uh, what is the independent variable t so one independent variable but independent variable but two dependent variables right so a system of differential equation and one thing going forward in this chapter we need lots of linear algebra so please take your linear algebra book and review linear algebra finding eigenvalues determinants uh, eigenvectors you will need everything i'm try i'm going to review them also um but it's better if you can review them by yourself also okay beforehand all right so i will see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye